There we go. Okay. Hello, this is the Jai Bible. I'm in the Jay Moon Show on the WBC 102.9 FM. My guest is Eva Devonport, a, a wonderful singer. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. This is really awesome to be here. Shout out to um, 102.9. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's so good to see you on the show. Yeah, good to have you on the show, family. Yeah. Um, can, you me, can you tell me a, a little bit about yourself? Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Eva Davenport. I am a artist, a singer, first and foremost. Um, music is the love of my life. And I, you know, perform. I've been performing for a while and I put on events. Um, I'm a booking agent for The Jungle in Somerville. So I've got my, um, you know, my I've got a, my myself in a couple of different places in the in the music industry. You know, I love performing, but then I also love uh, putting on events and pulling together other artists, pulling together other creatives from all different facets. And um, I have a platform called Arts Underground where I put on events like that that encompass all arts and all creatives. And um, yeah, that's a little bit about me. Just a little bit. <laughs> That's wonderful, yeah. If that's how you perform it, I, being a human wonderful, you know, on, on family show, it's a great show, you know. I, I love your song you before, that was a great song, you know, yeah. I, I forget what it was called, but it was wonderful. Yeah. Um, so what made you want to become a singer? What did you see in music? Well, um, my mom was a singer when she was uh, pregnant with me, so uh, I always uh, credit my music uh, to uh, her starting off my life with music. Um, I think that was ultimately the strongest thing. My, my father also sang a lot as well. They just love music so much. They are always playing music and singing out loud and um, around people who are performing, musicians, artists. Mm -hmm. So I grew up in a, around very creative, um, loving, supportive people who just enjoyed music and wanted me to follow my passion in music. So that was really the, um, the start of my journey, really was the people in my life, my mom, my family, everybody just supporting my music and um, me wanting to be a performer yeah. from the very beginning, mm -hmm. so. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So, so, so what inspired you to create music that you like, uh, or produce music that you like? What gives you creativity? So many things, so many things inspire me. Um, sometimes just like walking outside gives me the inspiration to write music, but I think ultimately inspiring others, being in the presence of others, um, I love, I think that's really why I had this really strong passion to start putting together events was because I just enjoy seeing other people perform so much. It really inspires me seeing other people in their element. Um, and then, you know, just the, the sweet things in life yeah. every day. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So what places, what places have you performed in Boston besides um, being there? Where, where have you performed there? Wow, I definitely have a compiled list somewhere. Um, I performed at so many places. Um, I performed at Fenway Park. Oh, really? That was a huge, really amazing, exciting thing. Um, I performed there for in front of so many people. It was amazing um, for a Boston Red Sox and Yankees game last summer in August. Yeah. Um, I performed at the Sinclair for Oompa's release show for Cleo with Red Shades. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was so fun. Like, crazy fun. Um, yeah, yeah. Wish I was there. Yeah. <laughs> like, mind-blowingly. Yeah. That, that experience was mind-blowing. Um, yeah. yeah, I performed at the Middle East downstairs for Nancia's album release okay. show. That oh, was a really, really fun show. Um, and so many other... Um, those are like the bigger venues that I can think okay. of, but like Music Mill, I love that place. Um, that's where I had my Letters to Self EP release show in August. Um, I performed at 
so so many of the little spots around Boston um, as well. Maggie's Lounge in Quincy. Um, yeah, I, my brain's getting a little bit oh, stuck okay. right now. Okay. There's, there's a lot of places. Yeah. Let's see, yeah. Have, have you met any, um, have, have you met, met any uh, styles, any famous people? Any famous people? I have actually. Uh -oh. I met some. I met um, Magic Johnson and Smokey Robinson. Oh, really? I sang in front of them in a girl group in high school. Oh, cool. Um, at the Jeffrey Osborne Celebrity Golf okay. Tournament, we sang for that two years in a row. Okay. So yeah, I got to meet Jeffrey Osborne, Magic Johnson, wow. Smokey Robinson mm -hmm. when I was in high school. So that was really really cool. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I met Magic Johnson at the airport. He was nice. Autograph. Yeah. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, everyone was super nice. Yeah. Very, you know, um, inspiring us to continue singing and everything. Yeah. So it was a really special memory. I, I, I bet because, you know, he's a, he's a, a nice, awesome man, man to meet, you know. So, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, yeah, a legend. <laughs> yes, he is. Absolutely. He's, he's, he's a great ball player, too. Great ball player. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so, so what advice can you give other artists that want to do what you're doing? What advice can you give them that want to be an artist or a singer or a producer? Thank you. Um, I would say mm -hmm. it just, you want to love what you're doing. Like, yeah. just make sure that you love what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think that through music, I really, really try to inspire people to follow their passion and follow the reason why they're on this planet because we're all special, we're all unique, we're all individuals, and we all have our own divine purpose that we're meant to fulfill when we're here. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, I just, you know, I inspire, I encourage everybody to really, really follow their heart and their passion with what they want to do. Um, if you really, really want to pursue music and you want to be an artist, you know, don't limit yourself. Um, don't think that you just have to do one thing or you can only do, you can only be a performer and songwrite and you're not able to manage yourself or do all of these things. It's so much work being a artist, you know, starting out as an artist, un unless you have a connection with a um, management company or something, somebody that is going to hold your hand and, and assist you throughout things. It's tons of work. Yeah. So you have to be prepared to, you know, you you're going to want to learn those tools you're going to want to learn like the skills that it takes to be able to manage yourself book your own shows um you know yeah. set yourself up for success promote yourself market yourself um that's just with performing but then when it comes to releasing music mm -hmm. you if that's an that there's so much that comes with that, that encompasses releasing music too and you want to make sure that it gets heard you want to send it out to all these people i think that the number one thing i would tell new artists is to take advantage of as many opportunities as possible go out to as many events as possible um take free shows take it like exposure opportunities you know obviously you want to make sure that you're being respected. You don't want to feel like you're being disrespected or like people are just expecting you to just come out and perform for free. You know, I, I always like appreciate when people are really thankful for artists coming out to perform. And um, I promote that and encourage that with Arts Underground and with every event that I've booked at The Jungle. Um, so it's just you know it's about that give and take with with artists and um bookers or people putting together events but there's so many incredible people out here putting on events now there's so many artists who put on events now like i m the majority of the events that i do and especially the majority of the ones that pay well or have you know 
give you a great, wonderful video at the end or like really, you know, help and set you up for success as an artist yourself and, and give you something for you coming and doing that performance. They're all put on usually by artists, by other artists, by other creatives, uh, by other you know people in the community who really care so it's it's easier now to find those things um but just go out to everything you possibly can new artists make sure that you're attending everything um supporting other artists that you really enjoy you know take the time to listen to their music take the time to go out to their shows to reach out to them to buy their cd um that's just how you build a great community and then you're able to grow from there. You'll continue learning from these artists. You'll learn, you know, how to put on your own show, how to, like, for instance, I was truly inspired to put on my EP release show after I went to Red Shade's EP release for Chillin' in the Shade. And that EP release show, like, opened my eyes to the possibility of me being able to do something like that because I had never seen an artist put on a release show for something. I had never ever been to something like that. And I'm an artist myself, you know? So it's kind of crazy that we don't realize that there's all these ways to be successful um, as an artist. I feel like we see so much huge success that sometimes we measure being an artist to this like high platform of success. You have to have a song that's, you know, marketable, promotable and, and all over the place, a viral song or a song that's being streamed a ton, or you have to have tons of follows on Instagram, or you have to have this or that, the third thing, but you can be super successful with your community and with your own fan base. And, and it doesn't take, you know, being famous to be a successful artist and be super happy and have a great fan base mm -hmm. and tour and do all those things, perform a ton, you know, that's what I'm doing now. And um, I'm still pulling it all together as a self-managed artist. So it's, it's totally possible and just believe in yourself, believe that in what you really wanna do, don't limit yourself and take advantage of every opportunity that you can to meet other artists and get more opportunities and get more exposure. Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. You know, that's that's great insight. You know, that's that's something that people want something I need yep. to hear. You know, that's that's you know, that's good. You know, I definitely agree. You know, you know, you know mark, mark yourself. You know, social media. You know, and just be the best you can be. And I think you will definitely go far. I, I totally agree that. You know, that's a great answer. Yeah. Um, yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so what kind of so, so what kind of music do you, do you, do you like to produce? Um, what kind of um, songs do you like to sing about or write about? So, um, I like to sing about everything under the sun. I, I love everything. Um, I mainly create R&B soul, but that ties into many, many different genres because um, I have experienced so many different genres and studied so many different genres. Um, I started, I learned classical. I started uh, classical voice training when I was eight. I asked for voice lessons. So I studied, you know, classical music and Broadway, contemporary, different languages. Um, so I've learned a lot of, of that, like, basis of, of music, um, spiritual music, gospel, yeah. um, I learned gospel for a little bit, sung in a gospel church choir as a little girl for a few years. Um, I was also in a group that did like Christian and R&B and soul music in high school, which I mentioned that we did the Jeffrey Osborne Celebrity Golf mm -hmm. Tournament performance. And we did, we wrote our own original music and um, we would perform once every like two weeks on average, but we were always doing nonprofit events. Mm -hmm. um, and we 
were, you know, in the studio. It was a part of our, our high school program. So we got to be in the studio two days a week, every week for school and record and write songs and work on like learning programs, creating videos and preparing for our performances for the community. So, um, the all of the fun like amazing experiences I've had in music throughout my life have really crafted my creation of music to just be so sporadic and um open I really don't have any barriers when it comes to music I have been in a rock band I was in cover a uh, rock cover band and saying like all the top rock hits from the 60s to today for a couple months I was in that band and um I am in I'm actually still in a disco funk 70s cover band uh that I joined my second year of college I went to Berkeley College of Music and was also immersed in tons of music there because Berkeley you know Mm -hmm. features and and includes musicians from all over the world so mm -hmm. I heard music world music music from everywhere um so it, it's just been phenomenal to be exposed to so many talented musicians and through learning them I've been I've learned about so many incredible bands and artists from you know the 50s to today and even even way before then when I was learning classical music I was learning like music from BC <laughs> you know so um yeah it's been a really amazing journey yeah. and I love it and um I say R&B soul mainly because there's so many things online and um everything wants to categorize artists. Uh -huh. So that's kind of why I say R&B and soul, but I wouldn't say a genre if I didn't have to. <laughs> I would just say everything if I could, because ultimately I would love to create everything, do everything, songwrite for other artists and just endlessly create music. I hear you definitely, you know, because I love playing music too and it touched my soul. And you mentioned I love music too. It's, um, oh. it's so, it's so, yeah, it's so inspiring. I love the song saying, saying being able to like, wow, it's good to go somewhere. You know, so music, music really touched my soul and my heart, you know. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I can, I can that means to, the world to me. No problem. I can't, I can't wait to see, see you perform, perform you now. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Jay. For real, you have been such an amazing supporter. I see you out at so many events, and I know you're an artist yourself and doing interviews and supporting the community, and this is beautiful. And thank you so much for, you know, everything that you do, supporting other artists, and really, it, it's amazing that, you know, we're out here supporting each other. That really shows others the way, you know, we've, we've got to, we've got to walk what we preach. <laughs> you do, absolutely. I appreciate saying this a lot to me. I appreciate it so much. It's beautiful. Definitely. Thank you. Um, so what do you, what do you like to do, to do in your spare time when you're, when you're creating music? What do you like to do for fun? <laughs> I like to um, hang out outside. Okay. I love hanging out outside. Um, to be real, music is my fun. <laughs> music is like, I, I love, I mean, I like watching, you know, shows on Netflix sometimes. Sometimes I'll be like a little lazy and play Sims <laughs> or like go hang out outside or um, I like doing like, I love cooking. Mm -hmm. I love cooking. I love hanging out with my friends and hanging out with my boyfriend and my family. I just love being around the people that I love. Um, I like doing art, even though I don't do it too much, but I love art yeah. and I love writing uh -huh. and journaling and going live on my Instagram and just singing cover songs and all that good stuff. 
Yeah. yeah, I love planning too. I I do a lot of planning for music related um, projects in my spare time. I guess that yeah. is work, but like to me, it feels like in my spare time when I'm not working my actual day job, I'm like, you know, I'm I'm having fun planning out my you know, performance for tonight or how I'm going to promote this festival that's coming up or whatever. So, <laughs> yeah. I hear you. That's, that's, that's perfect. Beautiful. You know, it sounds like you're locked on for yourself. That's good. Stay busy. Stay focused on and dipping off fire music. You know, that's what it's all about. I just, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I respect you. I salute you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, just got to try to keep busy, especially now with this crazy pandemic going on. Like there's a lot of online events happening now. And um, I put together an online event. Mm -hmm. I I did a arts underground and I called it arts online. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just been really cool to, it's been great to hang out with people virtually. You know, it's been great to connect with people virtually and smile and, and see each other. And it's interesting the difference between um, live performances and online performances because you'd think that mm-hmm. online performances would just be way worse and whatever. Mm-hmm. But there's actually like some pros to online performances that you don't necessarily get in a live performance that I've realized now, I've done like four Mm -hmm. online events now. And um, I think it's been four. (laughs) And um, I'm not sure. (laughs) I lose count. I lose count of the places that I performed. I lose count of the amount of times. Like it's been so many and I'm just like so grateful for all the experiences and um, yeah, but the, the difference between online and live performances, I think the pro to online performances yeah. is you really, like, see the person. Like, here, like, you and I are right here. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, where, like, even if there were other people in the chat, mm-hmm. I, when I'm talking, like, the, the video is just on me. When you're talking, the video is just on you. And everybody's able to really see you, hear you, you know, see your facial expressions it's like it's very different than if you were at a live performance there would be tons of people around you know you might be in front but you're looking at a lot of things you're not just looking at this person right here you know what i mean so it's really cool to like see like brandy blaze performed on um actually last night shout out to brandy blaze last night we did um, I performed for an event called Activating Artivism that Ooh. raised over five thousand wow. dollars for two nonprofits, Violence in Boston and the Lewis D um, Peace Institute. Mm-hmm. So th- they were raising money for, um, you know, Black Lives Matter, supporting um, police brutality right now, just like getting rid of all of these laws that are allowing people to be harassed and abused. So it's just amazing to have been a part of something like that. And um, seeing some of the people that I know and I've seen perform live before, like Amanda Shea and Free and Brandi Blaze and Miranda Ray, um, shout out to all of them. They did such an amazing job. DeLon, uh, Notebook P, uh, just seeing them like, just right here performing their music after seeing them live before Mm -hmm. and and hearing these songs but now hearing it like right here in my face it was a really different experience and i loved it i loved being able to like experience their music so up close and personal in a way that we probably never would before because like you know artists we don't really think like we want to get the best quality usually for i mean some people are very artsy and they want to use like cool old cameras or like webcam videos and stuff like that but i don't think before the pandemic Mm -hmm. many artists really thought about that we always think about getting high quality videos Mm -hmm. you know if you're going to put out a video of a song you want to get a great videographer and and pay a good amount to get a nice music video or work something out and you know get a good deal or whatever but um 
for for everybody to now be able to see each other yeah. on just a basic platform in their own home in their own space sitting down you know able to breathe not like in an event and like it's just different when you're an artist and you're you've been in an at a, at your event for like two hours and you go on to perform and you've like already been there for a while maybe you're like a little bit out of breath you're super excited you're seeing everybody in front of you it's so different than just sitting in your room and singing on a webcam you know what i mean <laughs> so the experiences um i just really enjoy the difference in that. I just really enjoy, I'm enjoying that stripped down, um, relaxed version and being able to see and hear everybody in their own element, very up close and personal. It's really cool. Absolutely. Yeah, I, that's, yeah. I do, I get, that's a appropriation because some of you got a lot to go up yourself, you know, I mean, that's, you know, that's what it's about basically, you know, trying to help support people, you know, and yeah, I, I hear that, you know, that's how I feel, you know. Yeah. Um, Definitely. Yes. So yeah. Huge shout out to Activating Artivism for raising over $5,000. Yeah. That was so amazing. And I can't wait for it to be a part of more mm -hmm. events like that. Yeah. yeah. We need more events like that, you know, help people, you know, especially now. And then, you know, that's, I'm glad to hear that community is doing that, you know, helping people raise money. If that's, yeah. what, that's what we need to do is step up, you know, and help people, you know. Yeah. So that's a beautiful thing, you know. So I give a shout Shout out to you know yeah so um so how is the corona so how is the coronavirus affecting you is, is it affecting you your music just coronavirus because everything shut down so are you, are you able to record music music now because I know everything shut down you know so it must be kind of hard for you right yes um yes <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. truly um I. I'm an optimist. I'm mm -hmm. always looking on the bright side. I'm always looking at the cup <laughs> okay. half <Yeah>. full, <laughs> you know? Um, so I have really, really been putting my best foot forward as much as I possibly can, but definitely have been really sad some days and some weeks, um, definitely during the beginning of this, I think at the beginning of the pan pandemic, at first I was in um, disbelief and like didn't, wasn't really accepting it. Um, but right smack at the beginning of the pandemic, I lost like 10 gigs. Oh, really? Oh, right away. Um, yeah, I was in well i'm still in the 70s disco funk bands that i mentioned before they're called booty vortex okay. they're a cover band they're super fun um it's a 12 piece band with like a horn section percussion drums bass guitar three lead singers uh so it's a big fun band and we do events and performances every week mm -hmm. um so that's one of my jobs and i also will sub in for other singers with other cover bands around yeah. the area and um, I've got a couple like little residencies that I do with other bands in Rhode Island and different areas around New England oh. so um, I lost a lot of paying gigs um, everything was canceled because they were all you know in in big restaurants or big events like weddings or, or parties uh, birthday parties um, and then a couple of my own original gigs, mm -hmm. um, a couple really great gigs that I had, a, um, an LGBTQ plus <laughs> dinner and dance party and, um, a, what was it? It was a release for mm -hmm. this artist's like modeling mm -hmm. photography. Um, so, you know, things for creatives that I just really love and enjoy and want to be a part of, um, mm -hmm. those got canceled. I had a gig at a local college that I had never performed at that was canceled. Mm -hmm. Um, and a bunch of other things leading forward. Actually, I've had cancellations into August now, um, for outdoor events and festivals and different shows that I had booked out for the summer have canceled so it's been really sad to 
to not be performing. Um, I'm used to being on being on the stage like yeah. Yeah. two times every single week wow. for the past five yeah. years or more. So it makes me sad to, it's, it's like, it's, it's like a loss, you know, it's yeah. like, like when something becomes so routine mm -hmm. to you and becomes so um, normal and also performing is one of the biggest loves of my life. Like I love, love music. I know it's the reason, the way or not the reason that I'm, meant to be here but music is the way that I'm meant to share myself and my story and experiences and love of life and things with other people mm -hmm. so um just to miss out on that performing aspect of it is really hurting me a lot yeah. um, but I don't talk about it mm -hmm. because I think that it's important to look towards the good things that are happening and not stay in the moment of things that cannot be changed. Yeah. Um, so actually the other day I went to a protest in Greenfield, which was one of the most beautiful protests I've ever been to in my life. Mm -hmm. And my boyfriend encouraged me to go up and sing and I was really nervous and we went to two protests actually the first one uh, was really small and the second one was amazing and um, the first one he encouraged me to get up and sing and I was just shy and I didn't do it and the second one they mentioned on the microphone that anybody who wanted to share something could come up and share um, any person of color who wanted to share something and I just felt it and I went up and yeah sang to this crowd and everybody sang with me and um it was amazing to experience that again wow. so i'm taking what i can um trying to do what i can to share and spread the love right now and share what's going on and educate people mm -hmm. on how to treat others yeah. and how to treat the situation and how to talk about the situation and um continue to spread light because everybody needs to be happy right now you okay. know everybody everybody needs some happiness not to be happy yeah. you know it, it's important to experience all of our emotions but everybody needs some happiness and some light in their day mm -hmm. so to just do what you love to do however you can do it whether it's going on an open mic on instagram or or joining a zoom event or doing an interview or um you know these things remind me of what i love and why i'm doing what i love and that there's people out there who care and support and yeah. you know want to make the world better too that's true absolutely i, I definitely agree with you mm -hmm. i'm glad you're protesting and that you're you know you're, you're speaking out and that you're you know doing what you love you know in spite of them because that's you know it's about you know, as long as you can be happy and want to happiness you know that's 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 what's about you know so i'm glad you're, you know you speak up people you know you help people that's good you know that's wonderful that's what i love about you because you know you know support me or support you you know that you you know protesting and Make a time of dips in this world, and that's what we need to do, you know. So I salute you, and that's amazing that you did go out there and perform like that, you know. Yeah. Thank you. It was, it, it felt amazing. Yeah. It felt amazing. I bet it took know. a lot to um, yeah. get myself out of the headspace of, of mm -hmm. being nervous and just say to myself, like, no, like, mm -hmm. you're you're being called to do this right now. Just go do it. Like, who, it's not about you. You know what I mean? Like, it's not about you. It's not about that. Like, it's just go do it. Like, mm -hmm. um, sometimes, like, we got to listen to our inner voice. Yeah, <laughs> yes, we do. I definitely, I definitely agree. With you know, always do what, what, you, what your heart tells you to do. I definitely agree. With you. That's, that's what mom told me. So, which it feels right. And you know, go back. Yeah. You know, to work yourself and had to think of heart. You know, that's good that you're doing that. You know, I, I salute you. I respect you. You know, more people like you, like yourself, you know, make a difference. You know, and that's what you're doing. You know, 
to pop, you know, to you know, come on the show tonight and talk about you know, I definitely appreciate you. Okay, um, so uh, before we go, um, before we go, um, tell you this, this is a gym in shot one point nine FM. My, my guess is either. Um, before we go, um, what do you think? What do you think we can do to change the world to make the world better? In your, in your opinion, what can we do to make you know spread more love, peace, happiness? Because that's what we all need. Oh, well, thank you, Jay, for having me on the J Man Show 102.9. It's been so fun. Yeah. I believe that to change the world is an individual uh -huh. thing. We all personally have to make the choice mm -hmm. to be kind and to be loving and to listen to ourselves and to focus on ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like, we have to make that conscious decision every day with everything that we do when when you see somebody that and and you feel like a mean streak and you wanna and you want and you think something negative about them check yourself yeah. check yourself right away mm -hmm. literally just tell yourself no 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 i'm not that person yeah. i don't care i don't care to think negatively about this person i don't like excuse those things, cut those things from your head. You know, every, every, every moment that you're able to be kind, just be kind. But everybody, every moment that they're able to be kind, just be kind. Think kind, feel kind to yourself, to your body and to others, you know? And when we're taking care of our own body, when we're healthy, when we're eating right, we're in a happier mood when we eat like, crap and we don't take care of ourselves and we talk to ourselves negatively then we feel those things yeah. when we talk about other people negatively consistently or we hear other people talking about people or certain types of people negatively consistently we continue to think those things we have to check them mm -hmm. and cut them out because it's really pointless to be a negative like it's absolutely there's just no point there's no point in feeling negative and stressing and and hating on somebody like where why are you wasting your energy mm -hmm. that this precious amazing like beautiful energy that you have you're wasting it because our energy is strong and we like we can put those things into other people we think something about somebody and they might feel it without us even saying or looking at them energy is very strong like we have to conserve our energy and use it for good and positivity and use it to uplift ourselves you know if we talk negative about ourselves we feel negative so we just got to be positive everybody's just got to make sure to check themselves that's true <laughs> i hear that's a good advice um so if we go to find our social media if, if we want to contact you for to book a show how can we get in touch with you Thank you so much. So you can get in touch with me on my website, evadavenportmusic.com. Um, I have actually my CD, Letters to oh, Self. Cool. Oh, cool. Yes. All right. So All right. The CD is available for purchase online yeah. and uh, my t shirts as well. Okay. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Wow. I got to check that out. We should all check that out. You know, that's, that's awesome. Quote from. My song, Handle It, You Built to Handle It, on the back. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, these are all available on my website. There's photos and videos of past performances and music videos. And um, what else is on there? A schedule of my upcoming shows. Um, tons of stuff. Tons of stuff on my website. And then you can also follow me on Instagram at Lyrics by Eva. And I'm super active on my Instagram. I'm always, I'm post pretty much every day on there. And you can always find out about any show that I'm doing on my Instagram. I'll, I'll always share it to my story at least the day of or days before in advance. So, you know, everybody knows what's going on. Um, and then on Facebook, I'm Eva Davenport Music. And I'm pretty active on there as well. I'll post a lot of events to my Facebook page so my, my friends on there can um, stay updated with everything. So, yeah, those are the, the three main platforms, my website, Instagram, and Facebook. And I'm on other things too, but it's kind of like sporadically. <laughs> so, 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 Melissa, 
Don't check it up. You can go to our website and check out the Hook Central CD for posters or flyers. You have some good stuff in there. So if you want to check it out, that's where you can go. And I hope you support us. I support her. She's a great artist. And I look forward to her session, fashion in the future because she didn't go far. And I love your song, you know, everything about you. You're doing, you're doing great, you know. You know, you know. Thank you. I think I'm on my show, you know, maybe such a good person to talk to you and know more about you, what you're, what you're doing, you know. And it's been great, you know. I love having a conversation with you. And, and, Thank you. Uh, Same here. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate this, and it's really awesome to to talk to you as well. You know, again, thank you for all of your support. Well, thank you. I appreciate your support too. You know, it means a lot to me. It's really great. And I hope to see you again soon. You know, and hopefully we'll be getting back. We get we can maybe get get back to the meeting soon. And that's what we love. You know, yes. so, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yep, I hope so. Me too. I can't wait. We'll get there. You should. Uh, I think we will soon. Soon. And yeah, but also good to see you. I still, you know, I'll talk to you soon, you know, and I'll post, you know, as soon as I can, I promise you. I'll post as soon as I can. Yeah. Okay. That sounds great, Jay. Thank you so much. Okay. You, well, you, can take care. you have a wonderful rest of your day. You too. I'll see you soon. God bless you. Take care. Take care. Bye bye.